Hey, what's up, Spartans? Welcome back to another episode of Halo Jazz Wars Toy Reviews. We have Skirmisher, and we have Halo 5 Master Chief, so I can finally complete my set of all the Master Chiefs, all seven of them that were released in the world of Halo scale. And this is all from Halo Series 6. Atriox is a character I would really like to find for less than, you know, 20 bucks, but I can't seem to. Everywhere I look, he's either 50, 60, or more. These figures were very hard to find. Luckily, we got Spartan Buck in that five-pack that came out recently with all the other awesome characters. So we're good there uh, with those characters, with him. Um, but then we also, like, I got the Skirmisher. I found him online on eBay for, like, 12 or 13 bucks, And I found him online on Amazon for the same. So kudos to the people on there that were selling them at those prices and not gouging like the people who are for Atriox. But I get it. He's a harder figure to find. And uh, But I really wanted the Skirmisher. These are neat characters in the Halo Infinite game. They're kind of like the Jackals, except they run right at you. They're a little bit more fearless, whereas Jackals kind of stay back and snipe at you. And it also comes with the Mangler, which is my favorite handgun in the game. So that's really cool. So I'm excited to check him out. And then, like I said, I'm excited to complete my Master Chief collection with all the armors now that we have the Halo 5 armor. And hopefully some of these other characters that were in here, like the Anubis Spartan and the Marine, hopefully they show up in the future on, you know, the Jazzwares Vault website. But mainly I really want Atriox. I can find these guys for around 20 bucks online, so I don't really care if they re-release them. If I have to track them down and pay 20 bucks, that's fine. But him, I'm not paying $60 for. So hopefully he comes out in a cool set coming up with, uh, even if they put them with Master Chief and they sell it for 30 bucks, even though I have 100 Master Chiefs, I'll still buy another one just to get Atriox for less money than that and have the money go right to Jazzwares. So without further ado, let's crack these two open, though, from Series 6 and check them out. Also, I think the Skirmisher is the only figure in this series of Series 6 that comes with a base plate. And I think it's because he needs it to stand. And all the other characters like Atriox and Anubis and even Master Chief, they do not have a base stand to stand on. And that's a little bit of a bummer because I actually like these. I saw people saying, oh, it's good that they don't have these anymore. They can put more detail and spend more money on the figure itself. And that's true, and I, I totally get that as well. But, man, these are just such a cool addition. So as long as they keep releasing multi-packs that, you know, like that have two or three characters in them and have a bunch of weapons and have a bunch of these base plates, if they do that every now and again, I'll be fine with the regular figures not having them because I just like the option of building little battle scenes with these guys. But the articulation on him is great. He doesn't have any wobbly joints, only the gun that comes out of his hand really easily. But nothing else is really moving on him, which is cool. They did a really good job there. And him holding that mangler is so awesome. I love this gun in the game. Um, usually when I pick it up, I have like a cheesy line where I say, don't give me a handgun. And then I go around and just do a bunch of headshots with it. Um, but it's funny, I'm, I'm decent with it in the regular game. I'm okay in the multiplayer too with it. But, you know, the regular campaign, I can predict the movements of the villains and the characters that you're after. I can predict what they're going to do. Obviously, in multiplayer, I can't predict how other people actually react in that game. So I'm not very good with it, and I'm not very good in general in multiplayer. I do okay. I'm pretty, I'm like middle, in the middle. Um, but on the campaign, though, I will crush some, you know, Banished and Covenant with this Mangler. But I just love this. Great set. Great colors on him with the purple armor and stuff. And the hair. They got the hair right, which is awesome. These guys are cool in the game. They're freaky. And besides them, I would really like to see the skimmers be made into a figure with like a little stand that holds them up. Because they're cool too. They got like four legs and it, they're really neat looking. Um, and then also I'd love to see a hunter, a deluxe hunter made at some point. Because uh, we don't have one in this wave of figures. And I'd love to see one of them and a skimmer. But getting this skirmisher, really cool. Happy with him. And lastly, Master Chief from Halo 5. And this does look different than the Halo 4 one. It doesn't have the highlights with the neon energy like he had in Halo 4 when he first got that armor upgrade. So, uh, And this is a different Mjolnir armor that he's wearing too. But they did a good job with the dark green on it and kind of matching what he had in the game. And I think it looks fantastic. And I got to say, having all of them now, his thrusters are more prevalent, which look really cool. And the back armor even looks a little different on the spine, kind of like how Spartan Locke and their armor started to change uh, because they are a new grade of Spartans. So having this armor on Master Chief is great. And having the whole collection of Master Chiefs now was something I didn't even know they were doing in this wave. I watched someone's video and I saw him talking about how he had all the different Master Chief Halo armors. And I'm like, wait, what? When did they make all of those? And then I was like, oh, wait, good. I'm only missing two. I'm missing this one and Halo 4, which I knew was coming out in the vault. 
but then the Halo 5 one, or also the Halo 1, which was in the 4-pack, which we just reviewed in the last episode. So yeah, really cool that now I have the whole set and the cloaked version too. So all seven Master Chiefs are now mine. And now I'm going to keep an eye out because hopefully they'll make the rest of Spartan Locke's team because we got Locke and Buck. And I'd love to see the other characters from his team. And I'd also like to see the rest of, you know, Master Chief's team from Halo 5. With, we got Fred already, but I'd like to see everyone else. So hopefully we'll get more characters at this scale. And it looks like we might even get some Reach characters of the Noble team at this scale because I have the Halo Vault figures coming in soon where we're going to talk about Noble 6 and the Elite Zealot he comes with and also Tartarus and the Prophet. So let me know what you think of these two characters down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and we'll keep talking down there. But yeah, no loose joints on these guys. These guys are amazing, except for him holding the gun. If you shake him too much, the gun will come out of his hand. But otherwise, great figures, and I can't wait to add them to the rest of the collection. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.